sir in the skull cap anteriorly this is the frontal crest in midline followed by sulcus for sagittal sinus which extends along the sagittal suture on either side these are irregular depressions of arachnoid granulations further laterally these are vascular markings which branch and impressions of cerebral gyri sir on the floor there are three fossae anterior middle and posterior cranial fossae the anterior cranial fossa is made by the orbital plate of the frontal bone lesser wing of sphenoid bone posteriorly cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone in the central part and raised crista galli in midline with body of the sphenoid bone behind it this is sulcus chiasmaticus for optic nerves the middle cranial fossa is formed by the body and greater wing of sphenoid anteriorly and petrous part and squamous part of the temporal bone posteriorly this saddle shaped upper surface of the sphenoid bone in midline is the cella tarsica or the hypophyseal fossa it lies between the tuberculum cellae anteriorly and dorsum cellae posteriorly this is anterior clinoid process on lesser wing and posterior clinoid process on the dorsum cellae just laterally is the carotid groove continuous with the carotid canal for internal carotid artery the posterior cranial fossa is formed mainly by the occipital bone and petrous and mastoid part of the temporal bones on each side this is the basilar part of the occipital bone and the rest is the squamous part this is the foramen magnum sigmoid sulcus for sigmoid sinus and groove for transverse sinus in the midline internal occipital crest and internal occipital protuberance sir this is the cribriform plate for the branches of olfactory nerve this is optic canal for optic nerve and ophthalmic artery this is superior orbital fissure between the lesser and greater wings of sphenoid for the third fourth sixth that is trochlear oculomotor and abducens nerves and ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve this is foramen rotundum for maxillary division of trigeminal nerve foramen ovale for mandibular division of trigeminal nerve foramen spinosum for middle meningeal artery then beyond the apex of the petrous temporal bone this is foramen lacerum for internal carotid artery and deep petrosal and greater petrosal nerves in the posterior cranial fossa this is internal acoustic meatus for 7th and 8th that is facial and vestibulo cochlear nerves this is jugular foramen between petrous temporal and occipital bone for internal jugular vein and 9 10 11 that is glossopharyngeal vagus and accessory nerves this largest foramen is the foramen magnum which transmits the lower end of medulla oblongata tonsils of cerebellum vertebral arteries and anterior and posterior spinal arteries and just antero superior to it is the hypoglossal canal for hypoglossal nerve sir in the floor of the cranial cavity this is the cribriform plate for the first nerve optic canal for the second nerve superior orbital fissure for the third fourth and sixth and ophthalmic branch of the fifth nerve foramen rotundum for maxillary division of fifth nerve and foramen ovale for mandibular division of fifth nerve in the posterior cranial fossa internal acoustic meatus for seventh and eighth nerves jugular foramen for 9 10 11 nerves and hypoglossal canal for the 12th nerve
on the exterior of the skull first nerve comes out through the cribriform plate second nerve through the optic canal in the orbital cavity third fourth sixth nerves through the superior orbital fissure fifth nerve three branches ophthalmic branch through superior orbital fissure maxillary branch through foramen rotundum in pterygo maxillary fissure and mandibular branch through foramen ovel seventh nerve comes out through the stylomastoid foramen eighth nerve does not come out ninth tenth eleventh nerves come through jugular foramen and twelfth nerve through hypoglossal canal under the occipital condyles sir this is mandible this is the horseshoe shaped body with broad flat ramus angle of the mandible condylar process coronoid process and the mandibular notch or incisure between them the body shows alveolar margin thick lower margin or base external surface and internal surface on the external surface this is the oblique line from the anterior border of ramus to the mental tubercle and mental foramen below the second premolar in the midline this is symphysis menti triangular mental protuberance mental tubercles on either side and digastric fossa at the lower border on the internal surface this is the oblique mylohyoid line with submandibular fossa below and sublingual fossa anteriorly above for the submandibular and sublingual salivary glands the line ends in mental spines or the genial tubercles on the ramus this is the mandibular foramen covered by thin bone lingula and leading to the mandibular canal this is the mylohyoid groove just below the foramen sir the condylar process shows transverse cylinder like head with articular surface for the temporomandibular joint a narrow neck and pterygoid fovea or pit anteriorly